Hi, and welcome to the studio. I'm Kenneth Woods, and today we're here with Oak Mountain High School's softball coach, Paul Burson. How are you doing today? Man, I'm fantastic. Thanks for having me, Cadence. Um, Y'all got a great studio here, and I'm just, I'm glad to be here. So, um, I know that you went to Oak Mountain, like, as a student, so what would you say that was like? Uh, I had an amazing time at Oak Mountain. Um, that's one of the things that brought me back, is I love this place. And, um, yeah, I had a great experience as a student, and you can see the the way that the students are having a great time now mm -hmm. here. So I love this place. I'm glad to be here. After uh, high school, what like college did you go to? And like, how did you end up like back at Oak Mountain? That's a great question. After, after high school, I went to the University of Alabama um, with zero plan whatsoever. And uh, I started in the School of Business there. Mm -hmm. Wasn't for me, tried my best, failed accounting and bounced back. And I decided I want to be a teacher went into education. I had a great opportunity to work with the Alabama softball team mm -hmm. at Alabama, and um, that really kind of paved the way for me to get into coaching softball mm -hmm. and teaching. So the, um, being like a manager, whatever, like what you said for the softball team is how you like got into coaching, and that's, is that what helped you like discover your love for it and come here to do it? Absolutely, mm -hmm. yeah. So I, I did that for five years. I, I ended up staying an extra year at Alabama just to be a manager for the softball team. Mm -hmm. Learned so much, and um, Honestly, just kind of fell in love with the sport, and it just it really fell in my lap. I had no plan of being a coach at the time, but like I said, I loved it, and it was a great opportunity. So were you ever, like, a student? Like, I mean, not like a student. Like, I know you were a student here, but were you ever, like, a student athlete here? Or were there any sports, like, extracurriculars you were involved in? So when I was in high school, I was about, uh, I'm going to say I was 5'6", 110 pounds, and I tried out for basketball, baseball, and had no chance of making the team. We have so many good athletes mm -hmm. here, but I was just too small. Wasn't a good enough athlete to make the school teams, but always played, I played church league basketball <laughs> and rec baseball at the park. So always loved sports, but really didn't peak athletically until mm -hmm. after high school. Mm -hmm. So, and again, we had, we had great teams here at Oak Mountain, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, just didn't quite have it in high school to play. Yeah, it's, it's like kind of took some time. For you. <laughs> absolutely, absolutely. So with coaching and all, like, what would you say like are some of your favorite things you've experienced like over the years of being a coach? Oh wow! Well, one of the best opportunities was um, our athletic director a couple years ago is Tina Mills, and I've known her for a long time, and I knew a lot of people at Oak Mountain. And she called me. We were on vacation, and she was like, "Coach, I don't know if you're interested in this job, but you need to interview if mm -hmm. you if you're available." And like I said, Oak Mountain's kind of a dream job for me. So that opportunity arose and I came and interviewed and that was a great start to, um, I don't know, like I said, a dream job for me. Mm -hmm. But man, this this year's senior class is probably my favorite part of coaching so far. Um, we've just got a great group of seniors and I'm excited to see mm -hmm. what they can do. So I think the best is really yet to come as mm -hmm. far as coaching softball and teaching at Oak Mountain. Mm -hmm. I know you don't only coach uh, softball anymore, you also coach flag football. So what would you say like it's been like adjusting to having to coach two sports and everything that like that entails a little bit tougher you have to be a little more organized especially being the head coach of two sports but flag football is a blast and it's um it's a new sport in ahsaa this year mm -hmm. um or the last couple years and i mean it's it's just so much fun the girls have a blast with it i'm having fun coaching it and we're all just kind of learning at the same time because no one knows no one was coaching flag football prior to two years ago so everyone's learning as we go, and it's just fun to be a part of an emerging sport mm -hmm. like flag football, so I love that. And like I said, I've always been around softball, so balancing the two was a little adjustment, but we're having a good time with it. I remember when uh, my freshman year, that's when flag football like, became recognized like a sport. I remember like every school was like getting the flag football team, and it was just so like interesting seeing like a sport like develop right in front of you so quickly, and it's just grown so much, I feel like. There, like a lot more people are wanting to like be on the team and versus like when it first started, whenever I was like, what is that? Absolutely. Yeah. With any new sport like that, the biggest thing is just creating interest mm -hmm. and making it fun for the kids so that we can bring more girls into play mm -hmm. that might have interest in the sport. And that's exactly what happened last year. We had, I think we only had probably 15 girls try out. And this mm -hmm. year we had close to 30. So we really doubled in the number of kids that are interested. And next year, the plan is to even get our middle school involved as well so that we could have a varsity and a JV flag football team and start really growing the sport here. That would be really cool. 
clearly you have like a lot of um, interests within school, but would you say do you have like any hobbies like outside of school? Yeah, absolutely. Um, a couple things I do for fun. One is play regular golf. Love mm -hmm. golf. I've gotten into that in the last few years. And the other one is disc golf too. Um, those are two things that I'll do after school and in my free time or over the summers, I'll mm -hmm. do a lot of that. Um, but those are my probably my two biggest hobbies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you like do those hobbies with your um, family or like, like just tell me a little bit about your family. Yeah, okay. Um, so I'm married, my wife's name is Amanda, mm -hmm. and we have a three-year-old daughter, she'll be four in December, her name's Layla. Mm -hmm. And um, we live over in Hoover, and I just drive over every day, but um, it's awesome. My, my parents still live here in the Oak Mountain area. My sister is a senior this year at Oak Mountain, and so we're pretty, we're pretty tied into this community, mm -hmm. and most of my family lives around here. I have, I have three sisters, one of them's Jenna, I have a, one of them's a little bit older than her, that's Jill. Mm -hmm. And then Jessica is my oldest sister, still younger than me. But so, again, that kind of goes back to the softball world and coaching girls. I've always been surrounded by girls growing up with three younger sisters. So, um, yeah. I'm, sure. I'm noticing a trend with y'all's names. They all uh, come with a J. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I'll blame my mom for that one. My mom's name is also Julie. <laughs> so that kind of worked. And then my dad's name is Paul, who I'm, I'm named after. Um, all my IDs and stuff say Paul Burson on them, but yeah, I go by Jordan, yeah. so. That's that's really like a, kind of funny. I honestly applaud your mom for like being able to think of that many J names. That's that, impressive, isn't it? Yeah. Is that all you wanted to say, Jay? Um, yeah, so one thing I was gonna talk about is uh, is one of the biggest things that brought me to Oak Mountain was Jenna being here. Mm -hmm. she, was, she was coming in as a freshman when I was offered the job at Oak Mountain. And um, just getting to be around and see her grow up a little bit has been awesome to be a part of. And the, one of the funniest things at Oak Mountain is the confusion about whether or not Jenna is my daughter or my sister or my cousin. Uh, during homecoming week, uh, Jenna was the coach for one of the boys volleyball teams that played in the homecoming volleyball tournament. And they won the whole tournament, super exciting. We were having a blast in the gym. And I talked to Brady Seville mm -hmm. after the tournament and he said, he was like, coach, we did it all for your cousin. We did it all for your cousin, coach. And I was like, what are you talking about? And he was talking about Jenna. So it's just kind of funny to see that no one really knows our connection unless I've talked to them specifically. But yeah, that's that's just the last thing I would say is I love being here. I love being around Jenna a little bit. And mm -hmm. um, I love this Oak Mountain community so much. I'm, I'm thankful to be here. Well, thank you for letting us have you today. Absolutely. Thanks a lot, Kate. You're welcome. And as for Oak Mountain Media, I'm Cadence Woods, and if you'd like to check out our Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, all at OakMTN Media, or our website at OakMTNMedia.com. Thanks for watching.